Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Crooked Man. I am of course the incredibly handsome, smart, and talented host, DA Video, so I'd like to thank all you guys for joining me for this wonderful adventure we're having here. In the last part, we uh, shot the crooked man and pushed him off the top of the top of the roof, and uh, we found out the story between David and his mom and how hard it was for him when they were going through the, um, the whole amnesia part of her life. And it's just, the last part ended so horribly sadly. But I also said that this part right here is going to be the last part of The, the Crooked Man, no matter how long it takes. I'm going to finish the part, I'm going to finish the game in this part here, even if it's an hour long. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Let's get ready to join the adventure. We're about to start scene four. Here we go. Telephone ringing, it sounds like. I'm still shook up about the last part. I mean, I just saved it. I didn't really do much since. So I'm still uh, kind of distraught about what happened. So I'll get over it, though. It's just a game. Damn it! David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have let David alone. So for those of you who missed the beginning part, uh, this is Paul and Marion, David's best friends in the world. And uh, yeah, so I think this part is just about Paul. I heard it was. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. Gosh, I can't do that voice for an hour, guys. I'm going to change his voice if that's all right. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something. There was no turning back for him. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help now, did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If it doesn't answer, we're calling the police. Pick up, David. What do you mean? Why would the room... Ugh. Don't tell me about ghost stories at a time like this. I always talk about how you see things and... David? David, where are you? Da, 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 da. Central Hospital. Well, why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Paul's a good guy. Da, da, da. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. David? Hey, David? Damn it. It'll take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Marion, Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David's my friend, too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. Good old Paul for the rescue. Ooh, motorcycle. How cool is that? Here we are at the hospital. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Is she my Pikachu now? Hey, you Pikachu. I got a Pika girl now. So, guys, apparently David's depression has really, 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 really gone up. And uh, he has gone insane. I guess that's all there is to it. Let's head in. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Is that you, David? Maybe. Can I get a pop now that I'm Paul? Ugh, I want to pop. I wanted to pop all night. Let's head upstairs to go see what I can find. 
Is there anything in here, or is this busted? Break down, shake down, honey. Something, 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 something. You busted. An empty can. Paul and Mary to the rescue. Thank God for these guys, huh? Otherwise, David would have gone completely insane. Shake down. Break down, busted. So, guys, we are obviously getting to the end of this uh, game, and this game has been truly, truly fantastic. There's dark writing and likely blood. Do not warm. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Okay. But yeah, we were obviously getting to the end of this game. And I have loved it a lot. I liked it a whole lot. And I'm so happy I was able to play the rest of this game and get my microphone to work for it. Because it obviously is much, much, much better quality with this microphone. And uh, I'm really happy with how it's going. Anybody home? It's me, Paul, and my wife, girlfriend, Marion. David! Woohoo! Is there a kitty cat? Is David in the cat? A dead cat. The stomach has been cut open. Oh no, that's awful. You don't think David. Oh come on, why would he do something like that? Must have been some crazy dude. Oh my god, I just thought of it. What if it really was David who cut that cat open and killed it? I mean, David has lost his mind. He probably could have done that. Ugh, I don't want to think about that. That is just... Ugh. Ugh. Way too grody. Way too grody. Alright. Hey, there's a shadow. Who's there? What are you doing there? What? A, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? That's sissy, isn't it? Holy crap, what is sissy doing here? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Sissy? Then what the hell was that? So Sissy wasn't even real in the first place? What the hell? So Sissy wasn't real. Gosh, this game, guys, this game is getting to me. All these doors are busted. Is there an elevator key? Nope. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Maybe I just need to go to the uh, the other part of the hospital, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Because he ended up in the basement of that one room, didn't he? With all the caskets and his mom. I should go check that out first. I can't move, though. <gasps> Someone else? David? Oh no, is this D? Hey, who are you? Yep, holy crap, it's D. So D wasn't real either. What the hell is going on here? Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm Captain Nanya. So is Paul crazy too, if you can see these people? Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Is David and Paul both, are David and Paul both crazy? 
Or is David just crazy and Paul can see people? And I better go in here. And there's nobody in here. Okay. I'm assuming that these are caskets, you know, at the bottom of the hospital where they put the cadavers. Is that what they're called? Cadavers? All my hospital knowledge for the for the record guys comes from scrubs so uh, that's the only thing I know about hospitals I learned a lot from scrubs nothing you know I bet he's on the roof there was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile a kid? Now don't tell me a kid's wandering here. Oh crap, is... Well you know, when he was running on the roof away from the crooked man, and I found that, I kind of figured that he wasn't real. And just imagination of the crooked man wasn't real either, but... Ugh, holy crap, this is just mind... This is just a mind fuck. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat. Which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a crooked little house. Kid, what are you doing? There you go. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is my why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He said he was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he died, right? David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with him? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marianne. Marion, what's up? Stop it! Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Just, who do you keep talking to? Huh? Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anybody here. We just need to find David. No jokes. Yep, so those people were fake. <gasps> so that's it, huh? Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Well, wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happened, I'd be just putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. All right. Please come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. So they weren't real. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. David's just crazy. I said a few parts ago, David's just crazy. And that makes total sense, too. David, what are you doing out there? Go, Paul, go. David! Paul, why, why are you here? I came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it, David. You're too handsome to do it. David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. What? That's... 
Who's holding him? Is that the crooked man? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Punch him. Punch him right in the face. Do it. It's exactly what I would do. Exactly right from the second. Slap, uh, slap him and uh, make him change his mind. Ha! Huh? Poom. Ow. Poom. Poom. You damn monster. Get away from David. Hey. Ow. I was set, set, stop. Ow. Hiya. That hurts. Stop, you moron. David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. Oh, you went not so but so to the extreme, David. I've been saying from the start, like hell, if that's the kind of thing you do, saying, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Dot, 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 dot. Now, about the stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. So they're just smoking a cig on the roof, talking. Just like a couple guys would do. Hmm. Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fan fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Mary never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy D and the kiddo, I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? You're seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen and no jokes. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at this place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you and from the room. I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. Yeah, why did you want to meet him so bad? So you're saying he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from that stuff he left. Plus, that was all he could plus that was all the stuff you could identify with. So what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him, or would you like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man trying to kill you, tried to drag you with him, but on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? Sissy? D? Fluffy? Pikachu. <gasps> he hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in, su in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He he helped me. Get back get me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? 
There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. Good luck, David. David! You come back to us safe. I... I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah. I know. Thanks. Thank God for Paul and Mary and saving him. Scene 4. Central Hospital Paul. End. That was a really short part. We have a next. We have another one coming up, and I guess it's the last one because I'm going to the crooked man's house apparently. And there it is, the crooked house. This is the place for sure. Could this be his house? The mailbox says, "Magahan." Must have been the resident's name. Who is this guy? Hi, friend. Excuse me, can I have a second? What? I ain't seen you around going for a stroll. Er, no, actually. Um, who lives here? Do you know them? Oh, you mean Mrs. McGahan. McGahan? Somebody named, someone named McGahan lives here? You just figured this out, David. Not anymore. Mrs. McGahan passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. A waste of a fine house it is. Oh yeah, I think she had a son. Wish he'd just run out or sell the house. Do you know anything? Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he lives in an apartment a ways away. I see. That all? I gotta be home by daybreak, or my wife will be livid. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Good luck, friend. Let's go in, you guys. Locked. Okay, so in through the cellar. My favorite. Nothing growing in the planter. I thought it was a cellar. Is that a dog? No, that's a rock. I can't tell, guys. I'm not a genius. I, like I said before, I'm not a genius. I'm a, ha I'm a handsome fella. Garbage can. A blue garbage can filled with rotten waste. So, what about this? Uh, do I have a key? One key. That's it. The bloody key unlocks the house door. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh, this house has been the creeps already. There's a bathroom. There are clothes sitting in the water filling water filled washing machine. There's a toilet. The toilet water reeks. Broken mirror. Fragments of broken mirror. The shower and is that black? The bath water is muddy. It smells bizarre. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, what's in here? We got pieces of a shattered plate. Wasn't there a game with a plate shard or something? Ooh, that music, his bass is so loud. An old telephone, no power, so you can't make any calls. A broken teacup. Whoa. Scrap a notebook. I recalled the rhyme of the crooked man. All they could do was live in a crooked house with a cat and a mouse just as crooked. I was the same way. Everything I wished for ended up crooked. My dreams, my love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. The TV has a big crack on the screen. I feel like an ominous feeling that something terrible is about to happen really, really, really soon. The garbage can is filled with rotten waste. What kind of books does he have? Does it say? Okay. It's over here. Ooh, a notebook. The floor is damaged. Found a 
extract from my notebook. The hotel, the school, the hospital, it was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. Writhing wouldn't settle my heart. Or writing. I guess writhing wouldn't do it either, would it? In the end, my festering heart when part of the paper is torn. Mine is an empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. The crooked man hung. That would make sense, whereas neck is, like, crooked, isn't it? He's probably, what if he hung himself? His house is, like, decrepit. Nothing in here is clean enough to live in. What if he's, like, upstairs hanging himself? Fragments of the broken mirror. This broken mirror, I assume. It's a dresser and a cabinet or a closet. And a scrap a notebook. Why? 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 No! 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 Who is he? Slender Man. The drawers are open. It's full of women's clothes. Fallen radio. Scrap a notebook. Out of cigarettes, I need a smoke. The paintings fall onto the floor. It must have been hung to the wall before. We got a nice little living room here, I guess. Toppled trash can. There's a few pieces of trash inside. Fireplace. We got a calendar for the last year. There's a big X on it. An old telephone. Let's go in here. We got a black cover notebook. <gasps> the rule on this notebook matches the scraps I have. Combine all the scraps, got a notebook. There's a name on the back. Duke. Duke McGahan. Look <laughs> at that crying. It's scary. Like for real. <laughs> Holy crap, I have the like, I have goosebumps. <laughs> Are many clothes in the closet? Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Pile of paper scraps, they have a very few words written on them. Oh my goosebumps won't go away. Help. There's a bed. I'm assuming this is where he died. This is a shadow here. <laughs> It's early morning outside. Yes, it is. Can I leave this house and never come back? Nope, I'm stuck up here. Okay. Is he in here now? Yep, there he is. It's dark. So something bad with Hi, crooked man. How are you? Don't cry, buddy. Is he crying? Yes, he is. And he's creeping me out. Creeping me way out. Mega creeped. Are you a dinosaur? I don't know what that said. I skipped by accident. I, I can't end up like you. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'll be going there. This will be the end, monster. I'm going to kill him dead. can because I did it before at the school and I have a gun now and guns are better than uh, swords. Uh, shoot him dead, shoot him dead. guys I can do it I can do it I believe in me and you should believe in me too because you know how awesome I am ah crap 
There was a crooked man, and he brought a crooked style. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He brought a crooked cat who caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. I know the poem. I heard it. Guys, I, this is like the third time I accidentally press start. It's in a load. So, I don't know how I don't know if I'm gonna edit this part or not. I probably will. Because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to kill this monster. It could take like an hour and a half to do it. Knowing me, it might do that. We'll see. Because at the school, it took me forever to win. Hey Paul and Marion, you guys saved me totally later. Bye Marion, bye Paul. I'll see you guys real soon. Okay, let's go kill this bastard. I don't know about you guys, but I think a gun could probably go above a table and buy a couch. Monster, I killed you. I killed you. I killed you dead. I killed you dead, Monster Man. <sighs> now you better cry, you son of a bitch. Freaking man. I'm not going to be like you. You failed to catch me. As much misery as I encounter, as painful and bloody as it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone! Yeah, you better fade away, you stupid monster. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, it's light and sunny. The sun has come out. Life is good again. So do I go up here, I'm assuming? Cool, okay. Guys, I'm going to say it now. There is probably going to be a guy who hung himself in here. That's why his neck was crooked. There's a door to the attic. You might be able to pry it open. Open the door. Duke. Yep, I knew it. 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 That's why his neck was so crooked like that. Oh. Well, it is true. Oh, I don't want to look at that anymore. Duke. You. You detested me. So I lived such a similar life. You hated how I lived comfortably. So, you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved, deep down? So, you called me? No, that's not right. You wanted to help me, to tell me, don't come the way I've come. Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore. When you're gone, 
when you're going, where you're going. I can't read you guys. It's a good place. So. Now, you can rest in peace. Let's watch the ending. Duh. How can we not watch the ending? That's crazy talk. Wow. It must have been really rough, David. Finding a corpse on your trip. But it sounds like it ended up all right. I'll go make some tea. Bye, Marion. He was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragged to the other side. The crooked man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was sad, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. If all this hadn't happened, I think sooner or later I'd take the same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? That's why you get dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Take my bike, it'll be faster. You gotta go, don't sit there staring. Go now, David, you gotta go, see your mom. Doctor! Doctor! Mom, mom's condition. To be honest, this is rather risky. Removing the tumor isn't too difficult, but she might not have the strength to... Doctor, please. My mom. She's... she's the only family I have. Please. Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. Oh, come on. You gotta make it, Mom. You gotta live. Where's the doctor? Doctor! M Mom? The tumor was successfully removed. She's still sleeping now. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. God, you woke up, you really... I feel like I... I felt like I was in the darkness. I... I was scared. I was screaming. I, I must have worried you. And those things I did to you. I, I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. You helped me open my eyes. I was so unhappy. I was just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother the happiness she needed. After all the hardship I'd given her. I foolishly doubted. I thought I wasn't loved, wasn't needed. That's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we're always happy. 
but even in sad times you were always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I was so proud of you. Having you as a son was my greatest happiness. Don't focus on the sad things. I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hiding around you. Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you get me some water? Sh sure, just a second. Oh. It's gonna happen, isn't it? Yep. Here you go, Mom. Mom? Mom? I gotta say, I saw that one coming. Ugh, I didn't want to see that one coming, but I definitely saw it coming. And here are the church bells going off for her. <sighs> she got a good funeral. I'm sure your mother is happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm going to live without blaming myself, those words are going to help a lot. It's fine if I have to suffer. If I can be smiling in the end. David. Marion? Why are you... Shirley? Why are you? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiven you. How dare you give David the coal? Ow, 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 ow. Ahem, we're going. Okay, okay, stop pinching me. And there's my love. Oh, David, I heard about your mother. It's good you came. Oh, that's me. It's good you came, Shirley. Mom always liked you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David! I was anxious. I'm unsure of where I'm going. I'm worried that the road I'm walking will be full of twists and turns. Maybe I did need your kindness. You never let me down, but how do I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. I'm sorry, David. Oh, David. Maybe this is too late, but... David? If it's okay with you, would you like to... D david I'm sorry. Please don't cry. No, I'm not sad. I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. Aww. Aww. It's okay, Shirley. However off-kilter things get, we'll set them straight. I promise you. Oh, David! You know what I think? What do you think? The crooked man had a crooked body, and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy, living in his crooked house. Duke McGahan, box of cigarettes, because he said, I sure wish I had some cigarettes on now. 
I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Is that it? I think that's it, you guys. Hang on just a second. Yep. So, guys, that was the Crooked Man, and that ending took my breath away. I gotta be completely honest, I was tearing up at the end. I'm an emotional guy, and I'm okay with that. You gotta be yourself, and that ending just... Ugh. Ugh. So many feels. So, guys, that was the Crooked Man, and I absolutely loved it. I loved it every second of that game. I'm so happy you guys were able to join me for it. It was a fantastic game that was so story-driven and so story-involved that it just... I loved the story to it. Oh, cool. Bye Bye Blackbird by Roy Henderson, published in 1926. So this, this song right here is, like, almost 100 years old. That's pretty cool. Is that it for this for the credits? I don't want to talk over them. And wonderful game. Just simply, 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 simply a wonderful game. Oh my god, was that good. Oh my god, was that a good game, you guys. Is that it? Does it go back to the title screen now? Nope, it doesn't. So Thank you for playing The Crooked Man, and congrats on the good ending. This is an extra page. You'll lose the page if you quit, so I recommend you make a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. What is this? About the series. This ends The Crooked Man, but I'd like to make a series of similar games. I hope you might play them when they come out. They'll be available on my blog. So if you guys want to play those games or check them out, check out the blog for this guy. Just I'm, I'm sure you can look up The Crooked Man. Go to the, uh, look up who the, who the maker is and go to their block. I'm sure it'll be really cool. But the second playthrough. The door at the top leads to a second playthrough. There's no change to the story, battles of choices, but some events knew the ending change. Please try it if you're interested. Second play will be indicated. Playthroughs three and up have no changes. But the game. The impetus to create the game came from a strange event that happened to a friend of the author. Writing it all would be too long a story, unfortunately. It might be available on my blog. So check the blog out if you want to hear that. This game is less scary than my last game, Paranoiac. Oh, this is a guy who made Paranoiac. That's awesome. Paranoiac was another very, very good RPG horror game. You guys should check that game out, too, for sure. It's very, very, very well. This one is more story-based, and that was more adventure-based. So if you like the adventure part of it, go check out Paranoiac. But I considered having more action in this one. The author will be delighted if you enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for playing. I'm going to make a save point, just in case we end up heading back here. And in the meantime, guys, I'm going to go to the title uh, screen here to talk. Thank you guys so much for watching this playthrough. It has been an amazing ride. I have loved every second of The Crooked Man because it's just such a good story. You get so involved into it, and that's the best part about games, in my opinion. If you can get involved into a good story, it doesn't matter what the story is about, then that makes it good, right? I mean, if you can lose yourself into a game, the storyline is the best way to do that, and the storyline will get you there because the story is what makes the game great. There are sounds that make it, the, in horror games the sound and the atmosphere makes it the mo are probably the most important things. But to me, to me personally, the storyline is always the most important thing, always. And this one was wonderful. It was wonderful. I'm so happy the ending was happy because it just it made me tear up a little bit, and that's okay. I'm an emotional guy, like I said, and if I can tear up a little bit, then that's good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. I'm hoping that you guys stuck through it, even through all the harder times. Like, 
before my microphone came and when I was still figuring it out and it was all staticky in one of these parts. Thank you guys so much for watching. It uh, This game has meant a lot. Thank you so much for supporting me through it. You guys are the reason I do this. And I'd like to thank all of you guys for being there for it. Well, guys, this is DA Video, and you have just watched The Crooked Man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is DA Video signing out. Goodbye, everybody.